Hi everyone, welcome to part 2 of this how to install Naper tutorial series and in this part we are going to install Gmesh along with many other dependencies which will be useful to install Naper as well. As installing Naper is a very long process, I am dividing that video into 3 parts. In part 1, we already saw how to install Ubuntu app in Windows. If you want to install Naper on Windows, you have to do this as a first step. But if you want to install Naper on Linux, then you can just start with this video. First, you have to do everything in this video and then everything in third video. So let's start with part two, how to install Gmesh. This is just the overall workflow, what we have to do to install Gmesh. First, we will start with installing GCC, OpenSSL and CMake. These are some compilers which we will need to compile Gmesh because we are going to compile Gmesh from source code. Then we have to install many, many dependencies. These are just some examples which dependencies we might have to install. And keep one thing in mind, it keeps changing. So this is everything for version 4.6.0. Hopefully it will be good for one year or couple of years. But if you are watching this video far into the future, then you may have to find out which dependencies to install. But I will tell you that as well, how to do it. When you do this CMake dot dot, then you will actually know which dependencies are missing. And then you can install all those dependencies. Next, we will download Gmesh source code from Gmesh website, which is given over here. And finally, to install Gmesh, we have to follow this sequence of commands. So let's get started. I have written down all the steps in detail, which you have to follow to install Naper, which includes installing the Gmesh first and then installing the Naper as well. So if you want this file, you can download it from my GitHub profile. The link of that GitHub profile is in the description box below. So let's start. First, we will start Ubuntu. On the left hand side, I am going to keep Ubuntu and on the right hand side, we will open different things. Now once Ubuntu is open, what you have to do is you have to create a folder in C drive. You can name it anything. I am naming it as Ubuntu app softwares and then you have to go in that folder. For that type over here CD slash MNT slash C. Now you are in C drive then CD Ubuntu app software. Now first thing we are going to do is install GCC and for that you have to type these three commands. So first it's sudo apt get update. And of course, you must have internet connection when you do these things. Then second is sudo apt install build essentials. Say yes. Many of these installation process will take a long time. So be patient. And finally, sudo install gphotron. Say yes again. Done. Now just to check if GCC is installed or not, you can just type GCC and it will say no input files. It should not say command does not recognize. Anyway, so now GCC is installed. Now next thing we will install OpenSSL. For that you have to go to this website and download the OpenSSL source code and we will compile OpenSSL and then install it. So let me go to this website first. Once you go here, you have to download this entire code, download it as a zip and copy paste that zip file in the folder which we just created in C drive. Then extract these files. If you don't have a tool to extract the zip file, you have to install WinRAR. You have to install this WinRAR for Windows. This one. So install this so you will be able to extract those files. Once you do this, you have to again follow these commands. So first we have to go in that folder and then you have to do dot slash configure. Now these things whatever I am saying, those are highly sensitive on version. This may change with respect to version and time. So if you are watching this video, maybe in one year, two year in future, then this might be changed. So what you have to do to make sure if you are doing correct thing or not is actually you can go into that folder and here you will always find a readme file. This readme file. You can open this readme file and over there you will find all the instructions what you have to do to install this. So if you check over here for install it is saying we have to see other install file. So again if I go into this folder there will be one install file. So if you open this install file over here you will go to Linux. So here it is saying what we have to do to install it. So remember if this doesn't work go into the readme file 
which will direct you to install file. Sometimes it will be mentioned in readme file, but then follow these things. And only tiny change remember to do is whenever there is a Mac or there will be, I think Mac install. So this you just have to change to sudo Mac install. That's the only change I did over here. Here you can see I added the word sudo. Okay, so let's continue. Configure is done. Next is sudo Mac. Okay, that took a long time, but we are done. And now third step is sudo make install. Finally done. Now we have installed OpenSSL. Next thing is to install CMAC. For that you have to visit this website. And again, same process what we did for OpenSSL. First, we will download the source code. You should download the latest stable release which is over here for Linux. And once you download it, again copy paste in that same folder which we created, extract it. And once extracted, again you have to follow these steps. I always found these steps in readme file which will be in that folder. Let me clear this. Now we are in OpenSSL folder. So we will go back one folder and then go into CMake folder. We will do first bootstrap. Now you can see for these, we need GCC compiler. That's why we installed GCC compiler over here. Six and a half hours later. Next, sudo make. This will again take a long time. So I'll fast forward here. Many months later. And lastly, sudo make install. So let's do that. And done. So now CMake installation is also complete. Now we have to install these many dependencies. These many dependencies are necessary to install Gmesh. And I will tell you how to know which dependencies to install. But first let's just install these and then later I will tell you while we install Gmesh. So I will just copy paste all the things from here. Say yes. When you do that it doesn't matter which folder you are in over here. The second one. Again, yes, these are pre-compiled dependencies and we are just installing them. That's why it is much quicker. Okay, next one. Done. Number four. Number five. Number six. number seven and one more is free type now some dependencies you can get pre-compiled you directly have to install but for some you can't find them pre-compiled for that you have to download their source code and then compile it by yourself so free type is one of the dependencies like that so again go to this website and over here go into download and you can download the source code here you can choose the latest version. So I guess when I'm recording this video, the latest version will be October 2020. So this one, always choose .tar.gz file. Usually the latest version will be on the top, but I don't know why it is not here. Again, copy paste that downloaded source code over here, then extract and same process like we did before. You have to again do these three commands. Now for this, you have to go into that folder first. So let's go to that folder, free type and first configure. Next sudo mech. 2000 years later. And finally, sudo mech install. Now all the dependencies are done. Now we will go and download Gmesh from Gmesh website. Gmesh also we are going to compile it from source code because it is much faster if you do that way. So go in download source code. If you want pre-compiled version you can download that as well from here. But I am going to show you how to compile it from source code. Again copy paste it in this folder. Extract and after extracting we have to follow these commands. So first let's go into that folder. 
then we have to type mkdir build and go into that build folder and then cmac dot dot now remember i was telling you how to find out which dependencies we have to install so that you will find out over here when you do this cmake dot dot it will tell you if it couldn't find any dependencies so just go up scroll up over here and here where it says found 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 just check over here if it says something is not found you have to go and look for that dependency and install that dependency when i'm recording the video i'm using gmesh version 4.6 so for version 4.6, all these dependencies are enough. You can see here, we found everything. So just go on. Next is sudo mech. One eternity later. Huh? Huh? Done? Ah, huh. okay. Finally. Now last thing, sudo mech install. It will ask you for password okay and we are all set to check if it is installed or not you have to type gmesh slash slash version and it will show you the version 4.6.0 means we are done so that's it for this video in next video we will see how to install neighbor if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you're interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.